If you're in the business of selling knowledge or expertise, you've probably heard this one before. The margin is in the mystery. This simply means that if you do not know how it is that I'm able to do what I do, I can charge more. Now, here's my question for this video. Is that mindset still relevant or has it become, in the age of the internet, slightly obsolete? So this video features my good buddy and business partner, John Inglesos. He was traveling through Europe with his wonderful wife, Alicia, and they happened to visit a fairly famous restaurant where John was served an omelet. It got him thinking about this idea. The margin is in the mystery. Is it still relevant in this day and age? And should you perhaps instead be embracing some of the strategies applied by the greatest chefs in the world. What am I talking about? Watch this. So I just finished eating at this incredible little tapas joint in Barcelona called Cow Pep. I've never been to this restaurant before, but after seeing a huge line waiting to get in right on opening hour, I figured I had to get in line and try this joint out. Now, man, I could talk about the food for hours, right? It was absolutely incredible. The food, the service, the staff, everything was absolutely unreal. But there's actually a marketing lesson here. Now, halfway through my dinner, I had what I would consider to be literally the best Spanish omelet of my life. Jokingly, I asked the chef if I could have the recipe. Two minutes later, he comes out with this. I don't know if you can see this properly, but this is the recipe to the Spanish omelet I just ate. What I came to find out, find out later on was not only was this omelet his specialty, but people travel from all over Spain to line up literally for over an hour just to try this omelet. And yet he gives away the damn recipe. You can even Google it online and find it online. In fact, that's how most people find this joint in the first place because his recipes are all over the internet and he's giving them out for free. So what's the reason for this story? Well, I get super frustrated with business owners who are too afraid to share their wisdom online and create content that provides the answers for their prospects. So often do I come across a business owner who tells me, well, John, the margins in the mystery, or John, I can't be giving information away, why would they buy from me if I did that, right? But the reality is you're always only one Google search away from the answer. Coming back to this restaurant as an example, despite giving away the recipe, people still come from all over Spain to taste the real thing. Maybe it's because they downloaded this and tried it at home and failed, or maybe it's because this has built some extra trust between the restaurant and the customer all before they actually decide they're gonna go wait in line for over an hour. By creating content for your target audience, you'll be doing the exact same thing. No matter how much information you give away or how in depth you decide to go on a topic that matches your service, your prospects will still need your help to implement your strategies to 100%. Some of your prospects will no doubt give it a crack after reading your content, and if they're successful, then they've got you to thank, and that's great but the majority may find it difficult and therefore by absorbing your content will begin to trust you and like you all before you've had that first phone call or meeting. It then gives you leverage as a part of your sales process. So what's the moral of the story here? Well, some people will simply make the omelet at home. Some will try, they'll fail, they'll go get the real thing. But the majority will respect that the chef is the master of the recipe and go straight to the source from day one. The same will happen for your business. That is indeed why celebrity chefs become rich and famous. They give away their recipes 24 seven, seven days a week. And what do we do? We buy their cookbooks, their branded saucepans. We go to their restaurants. If we've got mountains of cash, we engage them to cater our private functions. So here's my question for you. What is a recipe of yours that you could give away? Of course, if you like recipes, if you like shortcuts, if you like faster ways to do business, check out the gift that's underneath this particular video. Yes, it's one of my recipes and I hope you love it.